Boy, we got a looker for you today. How about a 1965 Corvette Roadster, bright red with a white leather interior. According to the trim tag, the car was born that way. It has a 365 horsepower motor under the hood, a four-speed trans. It's a good-looking car, very nice throughout. Go to volocars.com, and that's where you can read all the information, study the pictures, uh, and that's where you'll find a price tag along with a monthly finance option on every car we have for sale. That's at volocars.com. If you enjoy these videos, subscribe to our YouTube channel, click on the bell icon, and you will be notified when the next video is posted. For right now, join me. Let's go for a spin. All right, underneath the car is cleaned up very well. It, it presents itself very nicely, very orderly. It looks like it's been very well maintained. So it's not body off the frame, not brand new, but everything looks to be real good. The front end does look like it's new. Everything's rebuilt or replaced. The shocks, the steering components, ball joints, all that looks very fresh. Uh, in the back, there are also uh, shocks and bushings and, and parts that do look fairly recent. So that's been gone through. Uh, it is an independent suspension all the way around. This is the third year they offered that. Uh, it's the first year for disc brakes in a Corvette. So it does make a 65 significantly more desirable than a 64 because they were drum brakes. Now they're disc and that's at all four wheels. Uh, E-brake assemblies hooked up and the brake hoses, all that looks to be in good shape. Uh, it has the correct style dual exhaust with the correct style mufflers and the correct slash cut stainless tips coming right out through the rear valance. You look up at the motor, it's nice, clean, Chevy orange, uh, you know, original type components. The starter looks fresh. The lower ignition shielding is there. Uh, the canister type screw on oil filters there. It has a correct Muncie four speed transmission. It's clean. The shift linkage is all clean. Uh, the rear end and back is a 373. It's a correct uh, rear end with 373 gears. And with that motor, this thing should be a real hoot to drive. So the floors, they left the factory raw fiberglass floors. Over the years, they get dirty, they get spray painted. Uh, these are the raw fiberglass. The chassis is black. And again, not highly detailed, but definitely much better than average. It looks good under there. The spare tire carrier is all there. So nice, clean, proper underside. Uh, now let's check out the body. <clears throat> Door looks really nice, lines up real good here, lines up real nice. This is all nice and clean. I don't see any damage, no cracking, no body work showing. You know, the body's all looking good. I still don't see any cracks or damage or funny areas. Body's looking good. This is called Rally Red. Now the paint is real shiny and slick where the top goes. It left kind of an impression in the paint from where the top folds the sits on it. They all do that. But the body, again, no damage. You always look around the wheel well because tires come off and this and that and it breaks things. But the body's looking really nice, very straight, all real good, fits real nice. The headlight doors fit in here nice and square. The hood fits real square. Again, no damage. Very happy with the body. I don't see any cracking or, again, no body work showing through the paint. Uh, but getting back to the paint, it's, it's sharp. You walk up on it on a sunny day, it, it's going to look like a 12 out of a 10. But there's minor imperfections in the paint. Trying to find some now. A little rub mark, but I think that'll polish off. Just little, you know, like dust, very little tiny imperfections in the paint. There's a few touch-ups where they all get scratched from the convertible top. This has been touched up with a brush right here. Light, light little cracking, like something just touched it from the backside. It looks like a little tiny spider legs on the paint. Here's a little divot right here. So again, uh, beautiful paint with a few imperfections. These chrome pieces are original. They're kind of nicked up from the top hitting it and a little bit pitted. This emblem is sparkling new. This, I'm sure, has been replaced. Here's two little nicks touched up right here. 
bumpers are real shiny, tail lights are real shiny. So that stuff's been replaced. It has the correct antenna. I think it's a yeah, it's a power antenna. Door handle looks good, but it's a little tarnished. It has a bow tie mirror. That's real shiny and nice. This piece of chrome's original. There's freckles on it. It's not pitted, just some little freckles. Original windshield does have some surface little chips and wiper marks. It's sitting on some reproduction knockoff wheels. Those really make the car. Those are sharp. And those are BF Goodrich Gold Line tires. Gold lines were available in 1965. Cross flag emblem's been replaced. We'll demonstrate the headlights at the end of the video when we back it out. Uh, bumpers are nice and shiny. This emblem looks new. So really sharp looking uh, exterior. Let's see what it's like on the interior. All right, so the door jams look very respectable. The rubber looks good. Door panels look to be in very nice shape and the hardware and handles and all that looks real good. The dash, this dash pad is replaced on this side. The gauges are very clean. All the lenses and needles all look real good. It's a 6500 red line, which is correct for the 365 horse motor that's in there. This is all nice and clean. The clock is only right twice a day. Now this dash pad, you have to really get up and look, but there's a couple just small cracks in the dash pad. Not worth replacing, but I do need to mention it. Glove box liner is new. This is all nice and clean. This door looks new. Carpets replaced front to back. Uh, correct reverse lockout shifter. This is all real nice. Red Chevy bow tie seat belts, leather armrest cushion, leather upholstery. So it's got the creases. It's not split or cracked, but it has the leather creases, which I really like. Now, this was born, according to the tag, a white interior with leather upholstery and red trim. So this is how it would have been born. Um, behind the seat, we got a white convertible top. There's pictures on our website. It's in real nice shape. The jack is stored under the uh, floor like it's supposed to be. No cracks in the steering wheel. Original radio still in place. So nice interior. It's fitting for the exterior. It's not perfect, but it's very nice. Okay, so the motor, it's a 327 motor and it's proper, it's correct for this car. Uh, you know, proper uh, date, uh, you know, period correct engine. Uh, it does have the matching VIN number on the front. I'm not sure if somebody stamped that on there or not. I'm not saying this is the original motor for the car, but it is stamped numbers matching and it is proper and correct. But the 365 horsepower uh, comes with the double hump heads and a little higher compression and a little hotter cam. And it has this aluminum high rise intake here. Now we have, and it comes with the finned valve covers. Now this has the ignition shielding, the right air cleaner, the lower ignition shielding. You can see the front end's all rebuilt, correct hose and clamps and shroud and fan. Uh, we should probably go around to the other side. It has the correct fuel filter choke tube going up to the carburetor, uh, the expansion bottle, the ribbed hoses and clamps, the right spring clamp battery cables. So it's a very proper engine compartment, very stock. That motor, that trans, and that rear end, it's going to be a lot of fun. 
shifting those gears, hitting them windy roads, and you're going to look good doing it in this red with white leather interior Corvette Roadster. Go to volocars.com. Salesmen can help answer your questions. They can help you get it financed. They can get it delivered to your door at volocars.com. If you enjoyed the video, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Click on the bell icon. You'll be notified when the next video is posted. Thanks for watching.